So there's three different types of contractions. The first one, which is the one that you don't really want to use, is the concentric contraction, and we don't want to use that one because it's quite uncomfortable. The second type of movement is isometric, which is where you're holding your body into one position, which is the one that we recommend when you're a first-time user of Compex. The third type of contraction is the eccentric contraction, which is more dynamic. We always recommend starting with isometric work. A great example of that will be with a squat. In the squat, we'd be looking to balance out the muscles. We'd look to hold a strong position, and we'd also look to try and start off with finishing 50% of that program, building up to 100% of that program over time. So moving on from isometric work, we can move on to our eccentric dynamic work. So when working here, we'll use five to seven sets with good quality movement, avoiding end range of motion. Okay, so the reason why we would start with isometric work is there's a lot less soreness from this sort of training. As we move on to more dynamic movements later on, those sets will decrease, but your soreness might increase. After those five to seven sets, finish the remaining sets with those isometric holds, or increase your dynamic settings from five sets each week until your legs are massive. <laughs> Okay, so if you need any more information on Compex Training, make sure you follow our Facebook and Instagram accounts for any upcoming courses that we may have.